With this video, we will be doing Joe Button explains his conspiracies on Kendrick and Drake beef. And if you want to help this channel and the content that we're making, please help support our merchandise. The link is in the description. If you didn't hit the like button, make sure you hit the like button. Try and get the channel to grow. And the only way we're going to do this is if you like, share, and comment on the content. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's go. Chee Chee, get the yayo. Get the yayo. Because they ignore the tag in the front. They, they do. do. One, they do. they do. They do. Two, when I come in mm -hmm. here and just shoot the shit like I would in a New Jersey barbershop, <laughs> y'all say I'm dick eating. Woo. This is interesting. Nah. Depending on um, who they root for, you're dick eating. That's true. Mm -hmm. no well, diddy. most of the field is rooting for Drake. And Drake He's is the playing. the most popular artist. Yeah, sense. I know. So that makes sense. Yeah. And, I mean, I'm just a little more blunt and honest, but I'm rooting for Drake, too. Right. I just think there's some angles out there that can be taken. But put okay. that to the side. I think um, when you start seeing the 20 versus 1, uh, you want to see the underdog. At this point, Drake, even though he's number 1, he's not considered an underdog because he had the whole industry come to him at one time. So people want to see how he would stand against him. So far, I think so good. I think 20 versus 1, he's holding his own well. Yeah, but at the same time, and, and I agree with that point, but at the same time, mm -hmm. the whole industry wasn't coming for him at one time. He kind of fired off as a whole, and he had a lot of built up, yeah. you know what I mean, that he just got off his chest. He was like, rather than just address this, I'm going to address everything. Yeah, but I don't know if you've seen an interview with Kanye West when he just came out and he was saying that uh, Future and Metro Boomin called him. Um, to get on a song and that everyone that was excited because they was about to put it in the drink. Right. So obviously it's twenty versus one from yeah. that interview. Yeah, from that interview, then yeah, yeah it makes perfect sense. <laughs> Facts. Drake too. I just think there's some angles out there that can be taken. But yeah, put that always. to the side. Everybody got angles. Uh damn, what was I saying? Hey, what was I saying? You were no, that, that, that 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 All right, so nothing I'm about to say is true. I just watch a lot of crime docs, mm -hmm. okay. a lot of suspense movies, okay. mm -hmm. and I'm paranoid, and I've like been an movies. artist, uh, and I have a very vivid <laughs> imagination. Right. I have no facts in anything I am about to say at no all. Facts. This is pure, pure this speculation. This is purely speculation. what I think would happen if I turned on this movie. Mm. Man, I'm okay. Watch it. Okay. Dope. See the perspective. <laughs> <laughs> that was appropriate laugh. Like that's how good. There. What channel is the movie on? HBO. FX. B T. Some shit. Some shit. Yeah, I D. Some somewhere where it's going down. It's going down. I like HBO. Somewhere in Netflix. Real talk. Okay. Is it green? Like that greenish hue? Like Ozark? How Ozark. Was like, yeah, yeah, I was about to say okay, Ozarkish. Cool, cool. cool. That's my show, Ozark. In this movie, right? What if? What if? Because I was listening to the Larry Jackson call. No, man, get to the thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We spoke to Larry. My man know how to draw all the story, right? That's the right? thing about Joe. He draws shit out. Nigga, stay on topic. Stay on yeah, course. Yeah. Like, you just drifting all <laughs> over the place. Then you wonder why you can't figure out what you're talking about. We started yeah. to lose you. What the hell are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, he trying to take you on a fun ride. <laughs> shout out to Larry. And, and shout out to Larry. That's For my sure. fucking guy. And I listened to that call about nine times. Mm -hmm. I made Erickson send it to me as soon as it was done. I made him send it right to me. I heard that shit a hundred times. <laughs> And while I do think that half of what we said about that gamma and how it could play out thing may or may not be true, in my movie, Kaiser Sose runs Music Land. Kaiser Sose runs Music Land. Kaiser Sose's name pops up in some paperwork somewhere that it shouldn't have been in. In this movie, somebody in the clerk's office Messed made up. a mistake <laughs> and put the real boogeyman's name in some shit mm -hmm. that it shouldn't have been in. Mm -hmm. So now Kaiser Sose is going to fight to get this done. But he's the most powerful man in the land. So he's going to make some calls 
And maybe there's evidence against Kaiser Sose in my movie, not real life. In my movie, there's evidence on Kaiser Sose, and he's powerful enough to go send some niggas in and make sure that anything with my name and face on up. it is getting the fuck up out of there. Get cleaned up yeah. quick. Right? What a great opening to a movie. <laughs> yeah. You following? Yeah, you following? Okay. Hell then I'm going to go get low. And because I own everything, I'm going to fire everybody. Damn. I'm going to Trump get rid of bitch. everybody and all of these different fire. infrastructures that have been longtime staples and have helped me make money. So if I'm doing that, I have to have a plan. Definitely. You got to have a plan. And my plan, just like every other business in America's plan, just like the actors just finished fighting for it because they know something about a plan. Right. My plan would involve AI. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if my plan involved AI, I would want to test. Yeah, test run. I would run a very sophisticated test. And because I fired everybody, that means I need my big boy axe to be not only as big as they were, but even bigger yeah. now. Yeah. How do I do that? I'm no. Hey, he's painting, a, he's painting an amazing picture right now. Yeah, and it's because I went to uh, school for mass production, TV production. I can already see where the story is yeah, going. Yeah, you see where it's going. And it's a good place that I didn't even think about until he uh, started talking about it. I didn't know where he was going at first. I was kind of lost. Um, yeah. and then we all know, like, I think it was like two, maybe three weeks ago. All the major labels let up, let go like half of their people yeah. um, at one time, right? So basically, in his movie, I'm guessing that uh -huh. you let off half the people. Um, you want to use AI, and the only way you get your artists beefing, I mean bigger, because he said he wanted them the same way, even bigger, is by beefing. There's no way to get people bigger than by beefing. We've seen how much we've been covering since the beef started. Yeah, it's, um, so it's almost saying like in his movie, he's saying all this is being... Projected out. Generated. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it will make sense. It makes That's not the first time I heard that. That's why I kind of think where he's going because I've been here now. Like, what if all this is just... Someone said it. They put in the words of saving hip-hop. I wouldn't use that word exactly, but it's exactly what it's doing right now. Like, he's making it sound like we're watching WWE. Yeah. <laughs> like, real talk. Like, yeah. it's a script to this. Yeah. It's not just as yeah. genuine and authentic as you think it is. Yeah. But it all makes sense. Yeah. Playing off of what is authentic. Yeah. And just, you know, making it bigger. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Politic genius, but I know that one thing war does besides get people killed. Profits. Is make some money. Generate revenue. Yeah. Damn, all right. Peace. <laughs> Why would I not have the three biggest acts in Woof. the world just fight. Woof. Make that but then that didn't make sense to me in the movie Okay. because I don't tie J. Cole to Interscope until I go Google things. Tie Google things. And as you would have it, J. Cole's distribution Interscope. is Interscope. Mm. I don't know if that's the case for him as an artist. But I don't know anything, and I'm only imagining in a movie. Right. So I don't have to be right. <laughs> right. Right. Mm. All we know about Kendrick is that he's not top dog anymore, and we barely know anything about that. But they were Interscope. We don't, so PG Lang may or may not be Interscope. Drake seems to still think he's Interscope. Drake is Interscope. I mean, not Interscope, Universal. Mm -hmm. But it's not really Interscope anyway. <laughs> It's all universal. They're all universal. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Good for business. Yeah, sounds good. Great for business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, amazing for business. It's definitely amazing for uh, business when you think about a conversation me and you was having yesterday. Where we were saying, take out all the rap battle songs that came out this year. Just mm -hmm. take them out. Erase them songs that came out in 2020, 2024. What are you left with musically in 2024 that wasn't involved in this beef? And we both came to the same conclusion. That's not a lot. You know not what I'm a saying? lot at all. So if they did do this, I wouldn't be surprised because it would make sense because hip hop was going. But now it's back at the uh, forefront. It's breathing again. Yes. Definitely. It's breathing.
Then I just start feeling like some type of pawn. <laughs> right. Like just a, a, a very weak chess piece on the board. Spreading propaganda. If all it takes is to get these niggas. That's why Larry's sounding like that. Mm -hmm. That's why Vince is sounding like that. Mm -hmm. That's why some of the corporate people are looking at it through corporate eyes and us as rap B fans is like, man, fuck all that. We don't want to hear that shit. Right. We want to get to the beef. <laughs> and while that's true, I still want to try to follow the money. Yeah. Got to follow Always. the money. That yeah. makes the AI rollout make sense for me. Mm -hmm. That makes this 10 plus year brewing beef that seems to be slow footing around make a little bit of sense to me. <laughs> Paint the picture. Yeah. He's painting the picture. Yeah. Well, who's the... Well, I think I know who Kaiser, Kaiser is. I don't know who he is. I didn't get to part that part of the movie. I don't know. <laughs> I know who he is. Who's the puppet master? No idea. Well, a couple things. I um, think that's the guy that um, Kanye was talking about was uh, Drake's rich baby dad um, from Universal. Who? It was like Lucian? Ka Lucian. Yeah. I think that's who he's talking about in his movie, the in Lucian character. Movie. Yeah. <clears throat> I know you're speaking in the movie, but... Kendrick's, we know that last album, uh, Mr. Morale, was was his last one on TDE. Or, yeah. That that came out as Aftermath slash Interscope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. His PG Lane deal, which is where Baby Keem was released, mm. is Sony Columbia. Mm. So it's not Interscope. PG right. Lane is not Got it. Interscope. Got it. Got and it. to answer your question, Cole's last project, uh, The Might Delete Later, mm -hmm. which was not Rock Nation affiliated in any way, is now Cold World under license to Interscope. So they're all universal. Well, no, PG Lang is PG Lang so, is something. Something, something else. Mm -hmm. If, but so even, um, even if it's his own entity, it's nothing uh, for two businesses to merge together and do something that's joint to make profits. Yeah, joint venture, yeah. So, I mean, from the story that he's painting, it still could be painted. It's not but a phone call. I'm pretty sure all these guys already know each other anyway. Been doing yeah. business back and forth with artists crossing from Sony to over there doing features. We already have yeah. these relations That's in the I, building. Yeah, yeah, and it just makes sense to keep them healthy. <laughs> yeah, keep them healthy, and this this will be a good way to keep them healthy. Exactly. We all make a lot of money. Hey, There's no way to keep them more healthy than that. That's keep healthy than a mother. Fact. Like you know what I mean? We making a lot of bread together. That we wouldn't have been making at all. That we all agree. Out. That because like the place that where music's at right now, it wouldn't have been making the type of money that this is making. We can't even remember songs that really came out besides this. Real talk. They are still. That could have been a one off, so we don't know. Mm. Unlikely, just but formed. it's possible. Yeah, just formed. I think yeah. all of this shit is above my pay grade, and it and it makes me analyze this beef just differently. Yeah. It makes me look at the J Cole apology different too. Mm. If any of this stuff as inorganic, mm -mm. huh? As inorganic. Organic. No, organic. You trying, think it's organic. Trying to get out of the... You see, he doesn't want to play the industry games, basically. No, I'm not yeah. talking about coal. I'm talking about the whole beef. Oh. 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 That's possible. That's very possible. I've, possible. I've run right. through That's scenarios in my head where everyone's just on a group chat saying, let's spice this shit up. Mm -hmm. Spice I don't up. know if I believe that that's then true. what will be the motivation behind that? <laughs> sales up, 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 Hell up. Yeah, I'm going back and listening to all types of... That's the only motivation. I don't even know how he could say that. Um, being that he deals with nothing but American music and American politics and American issues, or he must not even be looking at the views that's on his own show because even we were saying that and discussing it because we look at everything. Even Joe Button's numbers was going low because no one cared about what was really going on with the artists that they was covering because right. the hip hop was down on the West name. But I mean, he's a worker, so I understand why he wouldn't be looking at the numbers. <laughs> but Joe Buttons right. know that ever since it started, his numbers has definitely uh, yeah, went been up. affected. Facts. Yeah. And a positive. Facts. Old I can't believe more people don't day. think that. In an industry that's fleeting, allegedly. Last year, the hip hop sales were down. In the, in, the, in the gutter. Let's run this shit up. <laughs> hey, it's even, possible. Hey, look. Even, even, that's what I'm saying. How do you he know that? How did, yeah, or how did you know the numbers is it? down? Hip hop is down. Everyone knows that. You in the business of this. How don't you not know front. this? Yeah. I guess. That just shows you just show up to work and you just go home. You don't pay attention to anything that's going on around you. As long as I'm getting my check, whatever's going yeah, on, it doesn't all matter. Good. It's all good. The world's fine. But you got to pay attention because if the numbers keep going down, that means sooner or later you're not yeah, going to be getting a check. You're not going to be getting a check. <laughs> you got to pay attention to where's it, where. like, like, things that affect you. Like Joe said, you got to follow the money. Yeah. He's not following the money. At all.
even that ties, into, that, shit, that ties into the cold shit. Like he took the record down after the week after the full week was done. Mm-hmm. Uh, so man, it, like you said, it could be just me. yo. Let's run this shit up. It's credibility. You're back. Wow. It's Trey TV. Let's get it. It's Lamar Wilson here representing Ghetto Action News Network underscore all lower cases. No spaces. You can find us on Facebook. Follow the page. Leave a comment. Share something. Come back. All right, we're gonna get right into this. Let's this, get it. This was a dope uh, segment of Facts. Joe Budden Network. You know what I mean? Business interest behind rap beef. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I like how he got the little setup too with the little uh, ticker on the side. That's dope. Yeah, I like that. But uh, it's yeah. like um like um. ESPN used to be when the yeah. shows we used to watch a little sports ticker on the side <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. let you know what's popping up that's a dope little, little uh, addition yeah but in addition to that the thought he had to put this little mini movie of his together um, create a whole nother perspective I like it um, it's another way of looking at things that I wouldn't necessarily have just jumped out to look at yeah but I mean once they really hit the cusp of the conversation it all just makes sense it all times he painted a hell of a picture it's, yeah he painted a hell of a picture uh-huh. he took a while to get there but when he got there it all made sense all the dots connected and it was mm-hmm. very clear um mm-hmm. what do you think about this i think all the dots uh did connect and when you're in a business that we in uh, we noticed a big shift uh in rap um so it all makes sense from the picture that he painted just knowing what's going on with numbers numbers wise and to see the amount of interest that has been on this since it started the amount of eyes um everyone has interest in this everyone's back paying attention to rap everyone's back down to uh, breaking down bars it's been a long time since people actually um been breaking down um bars and the picture that he painted i never looked at it like that um but it makes sense because the older you get you find out a lot of stuff that you thought was real in your childhood actually was fake and actually was manufactured yeah so i just look at that it changes your perception your things. perception that this could very well be true because most of the stuff that in my childhood that i thought was real just give you um an example of mtv cribs yeah. we thought these was the yeah. artist houses the whole time <laughs> we thought they was really living like, like that. the yin yang twins <laughs> with all them boats in the yeah. <laughs> and then we found out these are not they houses these are not how they live and it was all manufacturing i wouldn't be surprised the industry they manufacturing stuff you gotta remember this is all about entertainment this yeah. has real been entertaining and i wouldn't be surprised shout out joe buttons for pointing that out i know some people behind the scenes which he would shh Shut yeah, up yeah, because now know, people like, I mean looking at everything, but um that's our job to look at stuff the way he does and to break anything down and be like, Are we just being chess on a chessboard that's just out here spreading propaganda that they yeah. wanted to spread so the people upstairs can make a bunch of money? Um and I like the way that he broke that down. Can't wait to see what else come out to be. Whether it's fake or not, I'm here for all of it. Like I said, I mean, it's been a fresh of fresh air. It's definitely uh been entertaining. Um so I'm leaning towards what Joe Buttons um talking about, but at the end of the day it really doesn't matter to me because I never thought that this was a spillover into the streets type of situation. I just thought it was spillover into the booth and that's what we want. As long as it's spillover into the booth, we get videos like we just got from the Rick Ross. I mean, I'm here for all of that. Um, can't wait to see what else come out to be right. whether it's fake or real, but until then, it's your boy Trey TV and I'm out.